Welcome back. So uh, this is my YouTube channel, Chef Michael Douglas. And so today I'm going to talk a little bit about the relationship of fractions and uh, percentages, okay? So we have some basic math formulas here that express the relationship of percentages to um, be it units, parts, whole, uh, we can look at dollar amounts or, or fractions of any sort. So any sort of fraction is essentially a part over a whole. The part being the numerator, the whole being the denominator, and it's going to give you a percentage. Okay, so a lot of times in culinary we're looking at trying to figure out percentages of certain things or figuring out um, maybe a part of a whole using whatever percentage or what have you. Okay, so I have here the same basic math problem written in multiple ways, figuring out different parts. So the first here we have part over whole equals percent. So I'm using the fraction one over four, one fourth. So if we do this as a math problem, we have four going into one. We put a decimal there, we bring the decimal to the top, and we have 25.25. Okay, so that equals, we're gonna move our decimal over two places, that gives us 25%, okay? Pretty simple there. So if we're looking for what is the part, but we know what the whole is and what the percent is, we can take the same math problem. Four is the whole number, four is the denominator, and we have 0.25, so we're gonna take our decimal of our percent, we'll move our percent over uh, and our decimal one becomes 0.25. We do this four times 0.25, it gives us the answer of one. So one is our part. If we know what our part is and what our percent is, we do part over percent. So we're gonna do one over, and we're gonna turn this percent into a decimal, 0.25. So one divided by 0.25. In a long uh, division format, we do 0.25 divided by uh, into one. We're gonna move our decimal place over two places. We'll move our decimal place over here two places. So 25 into 100 goes four times. So our answer is four, okay? We can do this math problem a number of different ways with a number of different fractions. It all works out the same. And I hope this helps you understand the part over whole and percentage relationship.